Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting connectivity with utilities. Today I'm going to talk about connectivity utilities defined, then I'm going to move on to connectivity utilities explained, and we will conclude with some additional software for troubleshooting connectivity. There's a fair amount of ground to cover. Let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I'm going to begin with connectivity utilities defined. Before we can define the utilities, we need to define connectivity. Connectivity is a program or device's ability to connect or link to other programs or devices. A connectivity utility is a utility or application that is used to establish connectivity and or to diagnose or fix a connectivity issue. With that out of the way, let's move on to connectivity utilities explained. All modern operating systems come with prepackaged connectivity utilities designed to diagnose and or to repair connectivity issues. In some cases, you can use these utilities or programs from a graphical user interface or a GUI. However, in all cases, you can use the following applications from the command prompt. First up is ping. It is a simple utility that is used to determine if there's connectivity between two nodes or two endpoints. It uses ICMP echo requests. There are two basic formats to the ping utility. You can ping an IP address or you can ping the host name or the fully qualified domain name. You can use ping 6 or ping minus 6 and you will ping only IPv6 hosts. Then there is tracert or trace route. It is a utility that is used to determine the path used between two nodes. Tracert, T-R-A-C-E-R-T, is the Windows version, and Traceroute, T-R-A-C-E-R-O-U-T-E, -E, is the Linux, Unix, or OS X version of the command. It also uses ICMP echo requests, but it uses it with an incrementing time-to-live field to form queries and get responses. Each time the ICMP echo request is sent out, the TTL field is incremented by one, and Tracert is used to determine how many routers are between two points. It can be of limited value though, as many routers have ICMP disabled. It uses the same basic format as ping. Then there is path ping. It is a network connectivity utility that has been supplied in Microsoft operating systems since the introduction of NT. PathPing builds upon the functionality of ping by combining it with tracert. When the application is used, it will, in effect, perform a tracert command, defining the path to the end node, and then it will perform a ping test on each hop. One disadvantage to PathPing is that it requires 25 seconds per hop to show the ping results, and it uses the same command format as ping and tracert. One of my favorite utilities is ipconfig or ifconfig. ipconfig is the Windows version and ifconfig is the Linux Unix OS X version. It's used to determine the IP configuration of a given node. It can also be used to change that IP configuration if used correctly. When using to diagnose connectivity, Look for incorrect IP addresses, incorrect subnet masks, incorrect DNS addresses, and or an incorrect default gateway. Then there's ARP, which stands for Address Resolution Protocol. ARP is used to correlate IP addresses to MAC address. This utility can help to determine when there is an issue with an address resolution protocol table on a given node. Then we have NSLOOKUP. That stands for Name Server Lookup. It's supported by all major operating systems, and it's used to diagnose domain naming system issues, or DNS issues. It can be very helpful in determining if a DNS server is having a problem. DIG is similar to NSLOOKUP, but it is specific to Unix, Linux, and OS X. It does use different switch modifiers and returns slightly different 
results. There is the route utility. This is a Windows specific command. It's used to view and modify the routing tables on a Windows operating system node. Next up is NBT STAT, which stands for Net BIOS over TCP statistics. Windows implements the NBT protocol for backwards compatibility. As a result, the NBT STAT utility is used if a Net BIOS issue is suspected. Then there's Net STAT, which stands for Network Statistics. It's a utility that is used to display protocol statistics and current TCP IP network connections. It's useful for determining if a connection has been made and the status of that connection. It's time to move on to some additional software. First up are throughput testers. They're used to determine the data flow or bandwidth of a network. They can be used internally to test the flow or bandwidth within a local area network, or they can be used externally to test the flow of a WAN connection. They are often used to create a baseline of network performance. And last up, we have protocol analyzers. These are often called packet sniffers. They examine network behavior on a very basic level, at the packet level. They can examine all the packets coming into and out of an interface. Protocol analyzers are useful to see what is consuming network resources, as in they can tell if a broadcast storm is occurring or if an interface is going bad. Wireshark is a common protocol analyzer that is often used and it's free. That concludes this session on troubleshooting connectivities with utilities. The first topic was connectivity utilities defined, then we moved on to connectivity utilities explained, and we concluded with a brief discussion on some additional software. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope you watch another one soon.